All right, welcome back. 10 minutes after a human trafficking is a huge problem across the country, but particularly in the Midwest. And this morning we're joined by a gentleman who works to get victims of human trafficking off the streets. Uh, the group is called Night Angels. He's joining me uh, right now, uh, Mr. Mel Baggett. Thank you for stopping in and uh, talking to us about this problem that as we were talking during the break, I mean, to think that Metro Detroit Toledo, this corridor is the second largest avenue for for human trafficking in the country. Yeah, it's hard to believe and it was hard for me to believe, but because of our location in proximity to Canada and the flow from Europe into the United States into Canada, it makes it makes it what it is. And the second second reason is the proximity from the major north south corridor of I-75 and east west corridor of the Ohio Turnpike. Make it make it what it is. Now as you talk about uh, victims coming from Europe through Canada, how big of a problem is this worldwide? There's probably 30 million slaves in the world. 30 today. million. More slaves than have ever existed in the world exists today. So if there's that many worldwide, how many victims are here in the US? Somewhere between 600,000 and a million. Wow. Now we just did a story not too long ago about steps that were being taken to offer information and truck stops and, and, and places like that. What do you guys do to help victims of human trafficking? Well, what we do is we go out on the streets of Detroit and we go out in an SUV and we take food and we take hygiene kits and we look for victims. And most, vi most victims we find are engaged in prostitution on the, on the streets of Detroit. And these are your sisters, your neighbors, your cousins, uh, and they get sucked into this life and usually get addicted to heroin. And we're there to go out and find them and to build a relationship with them and to get them detoxed and into a long-term rehab program so that they can get put back on a path to the life that they should be. And that was going to be my next question is what is keeping them in the grips of whomever is is controlling them and drugs are likely uh, uh, culprit. What, exactly. What we see is the controller doesn't need handcuffs or a chain when he uses the needle of heroin. So uh, when the victims come to you, how do they do they help you find the individuals that are keeping them hostage, so to speak, or how, no, how does we're, that? We're interested in them. What we want to do is we want to insert ourselves between the controller and the victim build the trust with the victim, and then get them to believe that we have the ability to get them off the street. Are we just talking about women? Uh, are we talking about men, children? How, how big is this problem uh, as far as the, the victims? We, we find men and women. Um, we, over the last three years that we've been doing this uh, in the streets of Detroit, we've met a thousand men and women. A thousand. And we've only been in, this is our third area of the city of Detroit, but there's probably eight total in southeastern Michigan that we would like to touch. So this is obviously if, you, if you're talking about that many people, not just Detroit, but extending into the suburbs and oh, exactly. I guess all the way down to Toledo and probably south of there. Right. Every socioeconomic group, what we find, even though we go into southwest Detroit, we find women and men from Royal Oak, Birmingham, Bloomfield, all over, all over southeastern Michigan and every, every socioeconomic group and every uh, ethnicity. So essentially just caught up in the drug world or, or, or introduced to drugs by these individuals who are trafficking the them. And then at that point, you're, you're, you're a slave to not only the drugs, exactly. but also the individual controlling exactly. you. Exactly. What advice do you have for anyone who may be watching right now who may think that, that they need help and they don't know how to get it? Well, they can contact us through Facebook. We're uh, Night Angels Detroit on Facebook. Uh, and we will reach out to them. We will find them. We will contact them and we'll help and we will lend assistance to get them off the street. A wildly fascinating story. I mean, to think that that's happening in this day yes. and age. I mean, it's it just absolutely incredible. Thank yes. you for stopping by and, and talking you. to us about this. Thank you very much. Keenan.